Hello, Dr. Peterson. I've been trying to listen to my conscience, but I can't tell the difference between fear, willful blindness, or genuine conscience. Well, the first thing I would say about that is it is quite clear that you are, in fact, trying to listen to your conscience because that's probably the first thing that you discover. So that's a really good question. Okay. Well, here's a test, and you don't want to do this stupidly. If you think that you should do something, and you think that the reason you might not be doing it is because you're afraid, then you should do it. So that way you can find out if it's fear. You know, I think your question is, well, how do I know my conscience isn't just masquerading as fear, saying, well, you shouldn't do that, but it's rationalizing the real issue, which is you're afraid of doing that. Now, see, here's a reason that you want to tell the truth. And I, I kind of figured this out when I was looking deeply into the Pinocchio story. You know, in Pinocchio, as Pinocchio strives to become real, he, he has a conscience to guide him. But it's Jiminy Cricket, this insect. But Jiminy isn't really a very good conscience. He's a bit dogmatic to begin with. Dogmatic and inexperienced. And so it's, it's not like the conscience is an unerring guide. It's like a partner in discovery. And as you move forward in your life and you consult your conscience and you listen to it then it gets smarter and so do you but there's a coda there and this is why I've suggested part of the reason why I've suggested so frequently in my lectures and in my book that people try not to lie you see there are many systems you have many systems within let's say that guide you and one of those is your capacity for rational thought and then you have a variety of emotional systems and motivational systems and internal dramas and uh, intuitions and bodily sensations like lots and lots of and senses lots of systems that are guiding you and many of them operate you might say unconsciously autonomously uh, instinctively implicitly all of that now you pr Nonetheless, you program them, like you feed them content, let's say. Just like you feed your body nourishment, you feed them content. And a lot of the content that you feed them pertains directly to your voluntary thoughts and speech and your actions. And then if you pathologize those by lying, so if you say things that you know not to be true or you don't say things that you know to be true when you need to, which is more common, and if you act in ways that you consider that in, act in ways you consider reprehensible, then you pathologize all of those autonomous systems that guide you. It's like you're programming them badly. You're building an AI system inside yourself, really, and, and in some sense that is what you're doing, that has very bad, it's very bad training data. And so the output it produces will be, well, won't guide you properly. And so you don't want to pathologize your guidance systems it's a really bad idea so that's why you have to not lie and maybe that's also why you have to say what you have to say and you have to say it clearly as well and you have to learn how to do that so that's one of the ways of getting your conscience straightened out and then you have to have a dialogue with your conscience and you might ask it's like okay well what should i do or what should should i do this or should i not do this so let's say you're thinking should i not do this in the case of a temptation maybe you have a chance to develop a new relationship you know and you're you're excited about it and apprehensive about it and afraid of it and you don't know how to sort out all those feelings and the first thing is you really have to want to sort them out that's why you have to orient yourself to something that's a genuine up you know the the star above the horizon you have to really want things to be straight and you have to have thought that through and you have to know what it means for things not to be straight and really what it means is that you're headed for hell in one way or another 